Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a quick video. Uh, it's based on a question we have received from a couple of subscribers now. And the question is how to cost effectively install one, two, three IP cameras at a location without the additional cost of a NVR or a DVR. These folks want to be able to remote view and see the camera uh, with a client software or with a phone app, uh, but they don't want again, the cost associated with an NVR. There is a solution for this. There are several manufacturers that make IP cameras, both domes and bullets, also turrets, uh, that have mini SD slots built directly into the camera. So you can buy a 128 or 256 gigabit mini SD card, put it in the slot, network the camera, and any live video uh, can be seen real time with your phone app, but you can also do playback um, from that mini uh, SIM card. And the video quality is the same as a WD Purple, you know, four terabyte hard drive that's installed in a, in a recorder. The video quality from these SIM cards is really fantastic. And, and again, it's cost effective. You can get a 256 uh, gigabit micro SD card, you know, for $27. Plug it into a four megapixel camera and you can get 30 days worth of video stored onto that card. It's a relatively simple process. We're gonna cover how to install it right now. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we upload future content. Also like this video if the content is useful to you and as always leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber question and comments, including this one. Um, so yes, onboard storage is becoming relatively uh, popular with security cameras because it's cost effective. You see it with uh, dome cameras such as this. You'll also see it with some uh, bullet cameras such as this guy. Okay, pretty good little camera for outside. Um, and with the SD cards today, again, getting up to 256 gigabit, you can uh, record several days worth of storage. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, if you look at these cameras, you will find the SD slot uh, for the storage somewhere on the camera. We'll take a look at this model. All right, so this is the back of our camera and you can see up towards the top, there is clearly a slot marked SD. That is for your mini SD card. That is where we're going to install it to enable onboard storage. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, friends, what we have here is a 128 gigabit SanDisk mini SD card. You can get these on Amazon. There is a link uh, in the description to this video. Uh, you can get one of these for about $20. And all we're gonna do is we are going to take this guy, okay, and we are going to push him in that slot just like so, okay? You'll hear the click, that card is installed in the camera. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna plug this camera into a PoE switch and I'm going to show you how to locate this card and how to format it for storage. All right, so we can see the mini SD card has finished the formatting process. There is available free space and we see now the status is normal. If you notice before it said uninitialized because the SD card was not properly formatted. So right now it has been formatted by Hikvision and it is ready for video storage. So the next step would be going into your schedule settings and ensure you are set up for either continuous or motion recording. Uh, there is a link going across the top of the screen right now that walks you through the setup and configuration a recording uh, on these devices, but those are basically your two options, continuous, which is 24 seven, and motion, which is activated by uh, movement on the property, okay? So you'll wanna make sure that one of these are enabled. Um, if you pick motion like this, you'll have to go into the event tab. You'll also have to make sure that motion detection is enabled and that the section of the photo that you want to activate the motion detection is gridded out. There's also a sensitivity slide bar that goes from zero to 100 here. Usually 60 is pretty good there. 
Um, so that's how you set it up, folks. It's not a difficult process. It is very cost effective. Again, you can put two or three of these cameras up at your business, at your camp. Um, hardwire them with Cat 5e cable or Cat 6 cable to a PoE switch. Plug the PoE switch into a active internet source like a modem or router, um, and you'll be able to view these remotely um, with the Hikvision HIK Connect phone app or the Dawa DMSS phone app. Again, there's links going across the top of this video right now that walk you through the process of setting up those. Uh, but until next time, we'll see you in the field.